Snoop Dogg reverses his stance on DT and expresses nothing but love and respect for the former president. Wait, what happened, Snoop Dogg? Did your Israeli handlers tell you, hey, uh, the white kids aren't joining the military to defend Israel, so you need to go dupe some black kids into it. Is that what it is? What are you going to do now? How are you going to undo all of the damage you've done to American society with this whole anti-cop, anti-white thing that you've been doing, huh? All the white boy jokes you've been making, huh? How are you going to undo all this, Snoop? Are you gonna are you gonna have your son join the military and serve the United States and protect Israel from the Arabs? Are you gonna do that? You're not. Okay. I can't wait to see these songs, you know. He's gonna be, he's gonna be crip walking with like the American flag. Yeah, yeah, America, America. What a dope, man. All right, hey, hey, Snoop Dogg, I had a question. Are you gonna pay reparations to all the families of dead cops who were killed by people inspired by your music? Are you gonna do that? You're not. Okay. Right? What a dope. What, what's it gonna, can, you, can you imagine all the songs that are going to come out of this guy trying to undo all the damage he's done to the American kids? You know? What happened? Uh, are, did, did, a lot, I'm telling you guys, a lot changes when China and Russia stabs Israel in the back. They come crawling right back to us now. It takes, it takes, Yuri Bezmanov, a KGB defector, warned us and said it takes 15 to 20 years to subvert a nation. And so far, we're only about two one maybe one maybe two years into this unsubversion okay and uh we got a long ways to go could you imagine all the all the stupid rap songs this guy's gonna make about oh america so great america patriotic defend america right music videos with black kids fighting for israel yeah he's gonna do he's gonna start partnering up with tom mcdonald's yeah black and white together brotherhood forever <laughs> oh what a dork man what a dork He's, you know what he probably is? He's probably also seeing crime in Diamond Bar. Diamond Bar, if you don't know, is a very swanky neighborhood. Not too far from where I grew up. And it's where he lives. He doesn't live in the hood. He doesn't live in Compton. He just raps about it. Like he represents them or something. You know. Meanwhile, he, he, he doesn't do jack shit for the uh, inner city communities. What have you done, Snoop? What have you done for your fellow black man? Nothing. Okay? And now you're supporting him. Why? Because your Israeli handlers, handlers told you to, right? Is that what's going on? Huh? Anyways, uh, stupid, stupid as hell. Celebrated rap. Oh, now you're calling him a celebrated rapper? Jim Hoft? Holy crap, man. Celebrated rapper Snoop Dogg has recently expressed his newfound respect and admiration for former President DT, marking a significant U turn from his previous stance. Who cares what this guy thinks? He's an idiot. You're not propping him back up like he's important? Good lord. During an exclusive interview with The Times, published on Sunday, Snoop Dogg, who had had a history of contention with DT, uh, yeah, he did a music video where he popped DT off in the head. Remember that? And he kept saying, F Trump, F Trump, yeah. Particularly during DT's first term in office, sur surprisingly revealed his change of heart. He's quoted saying, Donald Trump, he ain't done nothing wrong to me. He has done only great things for me. Right, and that's why you shadowed him for all those years. You better hope. Yeah, I'm telling you, him and then that, you know, that 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 uh, Chaya Papalapa Ding Dong guy, the the owner, part owner of the Golden State Warriors, who said he doesn't care that China has slaves and he uses slaves. Uh, him, the U turn from him, U turn from this guy and everyone else. You know that their bank accounts are going down. Okay, they thought they were gonna rule the world together with Klaus Schwab. And then they're not. They, thought, they just found out now. Oh crap! We going in too, dog. You know. You, you look. Look at the panic. Look at the panic in Tim Pool after he covered up for the 2020 uh, uh, steal. He covered up for it. Okay. I spent 2020 trying to warn people about gang stalkers, uh, who are these people that the Israelis employ, who come into the chat, to come into chats of channels they don't even like. They talk all this trash. That trash. They correct you with incorrect information. Uh, and then um, he goes and makes videos saying anyone who believes in gang stalkers is paranoid delusional. And now he's panicking, supporting DT because his his money ain't worth anything anymore. What a bunch of dopes. What a bunch of losers. man! I, I'll tell you this. Look, it, either way this goes, if Biden wins and, and, and all of your money is not worth anything anymore, at least I'll have that to like celebrate, you know? I could go either way in this. I really can, you know. I, I would totally would not mind seeing JB destroy Israel for another four years. That'd be very interesting to see, you know. 
that would be a major turning point in our, our on global history, right? Yeah, times will be tough for us. We probably will be uh, a lot skinnier because we won't be able to afford the, the food that we've been eating. But, but the people who will hijack this world via central banking will finally be taken out, you know? And it'll be very interesting to see all of that. Anyways, back to the article. The change of heart stems in part of DT's decision to pardon Michael Harry O'Harris a co-founder of Death Row Records. Okay, it's 2024. He hasn't pardoned anyone since 2020, January 2021, okay? And you're taking until now to finally, like, oh, why? Why didn't this happen? Why did this happen in 2021, Snoop? Why did this happen in 2021? Is it because Israel needs help all of a sudden? Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, poor black kids. They're going to get duped by Snoop Dogg into joining the service and dying for Israel. Dying for some banker war. Yeah. He says in quotes, So I had nothing but love and respect for DT. Referring to his act of clemency. Yeah. In 2021, Snoop Dogg praised his decision saying, I love what he did. That great work for the president and his team on the way out. And never mind the economy. You know, never mind keeping the, the country safe. Never mind uh, making the world prosperous again. Never mind the lowest uh, black unemployment and the lowest Hispanic unemployment in the history of the country. Uh, you just want your rapper friend pardoned. Hey, well, hey, hold on, hold on. Wait, DT didn't pardon Suge Knight. What happened? What happened, Snoop? How come he's not down for your boy Suge Knight? Huh? Is it because he's trying to offer everyone to pocket more money for himself? You guys realize that Suge Knight was offing everyone? Yeah. That guy's a real thug, man. That guy's a real... Not like Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg's a fake one. He just pretends to be a gangsta. And he can't crip walk for shit, by the way. Uh, previously, Snoop Dogg was known for his outright criticism of DT's policies and actions. In 2017, he was involved in... Blah, 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 blah. Anyways. Oh, yeah. that This one right here. Look at his music video he did. Yeah? There's a gun. There's a fake DT. Very orange. And then this is bang. Oh, my God. He's so gangster. Yeah. Yeah, it's too bad uh, you voted. It's too bad, Snoop Dogg, that you supported a candidate uh, that has allowed a barrage, an army of Hispanics to come in and replace you all in your inner cities, right? You won't have, you, they will, I guarantee you, by the end of the decade, unless we do mass deportations, we will not, the blacks will not have representation in Congress anymore because these, these Hispanics have babies like crazy, right, Stella? Right? Stella Hernandez, she'll tell you. Yeah. There was a story in the news recently of a, a homeless family of 18 uh, finally found in shelter in Los Angeles. 18. You figured after like number four, you would determine, yeah, we probably can't afford this. No, I just keep cranking them out. 